This is Alan Bush with the Daily Financial Forecast for Thursday, September 26th. In the stock index features, we are seeing prices higher today. Also, the S&P 500 did advance to a new record high. We had durable goods orders for August coming in unchanged when an increase of 9.8% was expected. Also, today we had the gross domestic product in the second quarter up 3% as anticipated and jobless claims coming in at 218,000, a bit less than the anticipated 224,000. Overall, stock index features are performing better than the news would suggest, and that is an indication that we may see some follow-through gains in the indices. Moving over to the currencies, the dollar index, under some pressure in the overnight trade, but a bit of a recovery to about unchanged with those 730 economic reports Maybe coming in unbalanced uh, a little bit better than anticipated in summation. We had a consumer climate indicator in Germany improving uh, just marginally in October. And the Swiss National Bank did lower its key interest rate by 25 basis points to 1%. And that was as widely anticipated. And in the interest rate futures markets, we are seeing a little uh, pressure developing with those 730 reports. However, it still appears that the Fed is potentially on track for another 50 basis point cut in its key rate at the November 7th meeting. Also, this is most likely to positively affect futures at the front end of the curve. So any breaks there should be used as buying opportunities. And of course, I would focus on the front end of the curve futures, which are most directly impacted by any potential for an aggressive easing from the Federal Reserve. So that's the place to be, long, short end of the curve futures, and I think this is a trend that will probably continue for quite some time. So good trading, everyone. Once again, remember, these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMIS or ADM.